Many event photographers think buying the latest and greatest camera gear or knowing the magical camera settings is the key to improving their photography. While gear and settings are essential, preparation and professionalism are what sets a photographer apart in the eyes of a client. In this video, I will share 5 essential tips on how to be a better event photographer that has nothing to do with your camera gear. My name is Chino from Chino Vantage Photography based in London, UK. This channel is all about helping you make your event photography stand out. Tip number one, ensure clear communication between you and your client. In my experience, communication will heavily dictate the success or headaches of your event shoot. Establish a clear communication channel with your clients via email, chat, or calls. Remember, all expectations regarding the event's photography must be discussed. As photographers, we should proactively arrange alignment meetings or chats with our clients to ensure we capture all their needs. Top tip, if you are discussing Discussing over the phone, document the conversation via email or chat and send it to all meeting attendees. This is important so that everyone has a list of the expectations and deliverables for the event. At this stage, you may ask questions like what is the schedule of activities during the event or what key moments must be captured or do they have a shot list? Are there special VIP photos needed or are there special presentations or performances? Is there a group shot list? So from the the questions and client alignment conversations, you should have enough information to craft your shot list if one was not provided, and a route plan during the event. A route plan is knowing where you should be during certain times of the event to capture key moments. This is more applicable to events with different stages or breakout rooms. Okay, tip number two, prepare a shot list. Having a shot list is essential for event photographers because it helps ensure we do not miss crucial shots. Remember guys, many things can be going on at the same time during an event, making it easy for us to forget certain shots. A shot list basically is a document containing all the key shots the client needs during the event. I will post an example quickly on the screen. If you don't have an idea on how to make a shot list, I have created a corporate event shot list which you can download for free. You can use this as a reference. I will leave a link in the description below. Another benefit of having a shot list is that it protects us photographers. If a client looks for a photo of a moment not on the shot list, then we are not at fault. For example, I had a client who looked for a solo photo of a VIP at an event. Upon checking, we found that this shot was not discussed during our alignment meetings or included in the signed off shot list. This simple document literally saved me from headaches and a possible lawsuit. If you find value in this video so far, smash that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any non-camera event photography tips you would like to share to the community. Alright, tip number three, dress to impress. Guys, whether we like it or not, people often judge professionalism by appearance. So dressing well and being well-groomed can make a positive impression on the client and the people at the event. I know this seems basic, but I have worked with many photographers and videographers who looked like they were just fresh out of bed, slapped on a hoodie, and decided to do a shoot. Remember, as a photographer, we are most often the brand. So technically, the client is buying us. We also know this as personal branding. How much effort we decide to put into our appearance during a shoot will determine the perceived value of our brand. Unless specified by the client during our pre-event meetings, I try to match at least what I think people will wear at an event. If the event is casual, let's say like a party, I try to overdress just a bit like smart casual. I find that dressing up well gives me confidence and authority during a shoot and I also find it easier to network and create connections at an event. Of course guys, try to balance your brand style with comfort since we are shooting all day. And by the way, don't be compelled to always wear all black to blend in. First of all, we are photographers, we are not ninjas. And whatever you do guys, people will see you when taking photos at the event. Okay, tip number four. 
be on time. Again, this seems basic, but this is a big one. One of the common frustrations of event organizers I've worked with is not receiving the event photos on time from their photographer. This delays their social media campaigns, post-event comms, or other marketing efforts which ultimately does not do their brand any favors. As photographers, we must realize the impact of timeliness of our work on our client's business. So before we take on shoots, we have to be responsible enough to know, given our workload, if we can deliver the client's photos on time so that we do not overbook. It is also valuable to have someone as backup in case you cannot edit your photos so you can still deliver on time. Okay, tip number five, go beyond expectation. For us to stand out in the market, think about it guys, we have to do something that stands out for our clients, right? Delivering what is agreed upon is awesome, but delivering beyond expectations makes your service truly memorable. Try to think of one thing you can do to deliver beyond what the client expects. To share what I do personally as an example, one is that I deliver a bit more photos versus what is in my package, or I deliver galleries a day ahead if possible. By the way, all my delivery lead times have a safe buffer to ensure I do not miss deadlines. And sometimes I share 10 photos the next day if I know the client loves to post on social media. These are just examples and you can think of yours that will suit you better. The most important thing is having that mindset to always go the extra mile to get more smiles from your clients. If you want more tips, check out this video which is all about my best camera settings for event photography. See you there.